Hey guys, and welcome to Should You Buy It, where all we do is talk a little bit about the game and tell you whether or not we think it's worth the cost. In this episode, we'll be playing Factorio, the logistics survival game where your goal is to create and defend an ever-growing factory from hostile aliens. So the first question we always cover in these videos is what stage of development is the game in? And in this case, Factorio is in full release and available on PC through Steam for $30. So what exactly is Factorio, you ask? Well, Factorio is a logistics game where your goal is to build a massive factory in order to fend off aliens while at the same time sustaining your resource needs on a strange new planet. Yeah, and one of the great things about Factorio is it can be played on both sandbox mode and many other game modes, such as PvP or Wave Defense, which add a ton of replayability to the game. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. But now we're going to talk about how did Factorio actually make us feel while we were playing the game? Well, for me, as someone who's actually had Factorio for several years, I found that the game's difficulty was really easy, and even, I feel like for you, with you being such a new player, the game really didn't present a ton of challenge on its default difficulty. So I would really, really recommend that you guys hike up that difficulty your first time around, as long as you've at least done the tutorial first. However, it can also still be very relaxing to just play on the default difficulty, or even just turn the aliens off on the sandbox mode but you really do miss out on some of those high stress, high intensity, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap situations when you really have those aliens difficulty turned up and they're just destroying your factory that you've been working so hard on. Yeah, and for myself being a newer player, I really felt that figuring out certain builds and layouts for your factory was quite challenging, but at the same time super rewarding when you finally get a specific section of your base up and running at peak efficiency. Not to mention the zoom out feature, like, oh my gosh, was absolutely amazing. It allowed us to see the work in progress that we had made in our factory, which really gave me an amazing sense of accomplishment that I honestly have not found in other games. So if I had to put this game into one sentence, I would say it's a 2D satisfactory, but more focused on the gameplay mechanics and survivability in relation to the tower defense and alien combat that it brings to the table. I think that's a great way to put it, but now I think it's time that we move on to the pros and cons section for this game. So let's start with the pros. One of the best things about Factorio is that it is easily one of the most polished logistics games that is out there, in a genre where there's not a lot of options. And next, we have that the gameplay feels super solid and enjoyable all the way through from beginning to end. And that's not to even mention that Factorio offers many different game modes that each bring something new to the table and add hours and hours of replayability. After that, we have that there is no set path or build order in which you need to follow to obtain success in the game. The game really frees you up to build your factory the way you want to build it. Lastly, we have that the game really just allows you to adjust the game in any way you want. You could crank up the difficulty and spawn tons and tons of aliens and make it super challenging, or you could spawn tons of resources and turn all the aliens off and just have a chill, relaxed time. And now it is my duty to present you with the cons. First, we have that the controls and gameplay style takes a bit of getting used to in the beginning of the game, which is why we recommend starting with the full tutorial. Next, the graphics in this game are fine, but when compared to similar games such as Satisfactory, they begin to look a little rough. And lastly, I mean, I think that's all we could think of for cons. I mean, we are really digging deep here. This game honestly has such a solid design that it feels like anyone other than maybe your mom would enjoy playing it. But now it's time for our final answer on whether or not we think Factorio is worth the cost. So our rule of thumb when we rate games is we want to get at least one hour of enjoyment per $1 spent on the game. And that would mean for Factorio that we would need to get 30 hours of enjoyment for the $30 that we spent on it. And if our pros and cons list hasn't already spoiled it for you, after putting 24 played hours into this game, we give it 
8 out of 10 potatoes, folks. 8 out of 10. It was an awesome game. Yeah, this game is absolutely solid. Like, the only reason we didn't give it a higher score was because we felt that there might be some gamers out there that may not find this type of game fun and exciting. But for the majority, I feel like you could easily sink 100 plus hours even into this game. Make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.